Shalom, Shalom. Like to say, all praises due to Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai Bashim, Rakakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings to all you brothers teaching the truth and sincerity. All right, this is uh, Tyler York, Jim S. Boston. And uh, I just got a few words. And hopefully, this, uh, uh, you know, bring it to more of the light about what uh, Elder Yashawamba is speaking about in this video. You know, um, you see the title, and that's the page. All right. And uh, yeah, so the name, the name changed, changing into Meta, right? So when you look up metadata, it goes into a uh, fingerprint, okay? And um, I remember this from that uh, movie, The Social Dilemma. And one, one of the key factors that stuck out to me is they said they was building a digital model of you in the service, okay? So, when you go back into, uh, let's see, a couple years back, and they had all these, uh, All these talks of underwater server farms, floating uh, service off the coast of, uh, of Cali, all right, so on and so forth, right, and you see it right here, underwater data centers, Okay. Underwater server server farms. Okay. And that's how they look. Okay. And Google was even involved in the same thing. All right. Let me see if I can get that to pop up. Because Google and uh Google and Facebook at one point in time they were connected because he so called uh, helped the venture of both there they are floating okay and this is this is where they store your digital digital self so to speak right and through that right because it's metadata and then you you get into uh the whole thing with that tom cruise movie and it escapes me right now but uh minority report right and let's just hear what this guy says at the beginning of his uh his spew, so to speak. Let me go to the history real quick. Right here. This guy. Salaki, because they on to me. I was putting all the information there your phone is already for the Elder Yashawamba to take a look at. Hey, Tech Lady, welcome back. So, today I thought I would give you my reaction on the new documentary, The Social Dilemma, which is really a and as you can see, it says right here, 
He's an ex Facebook, ex Google tech. Okay, so like I said, Facebook and Google are linked together, one and the same. All right. And he's just gonna uh, break down the digital, uh, the digital model of a person, and what it's meant for. About the effects that machine learning has on our society through social media networks like, say, Facebook, Google, Twitter, and the like. Now, at first, I had a hard time getting myself to be interested enough to watch this documentary because we've all heard the thing that social media networks are bad, Facebook is bad, you should delete that stuff. But this movie, I think, is kind of interesting because it poses a new reason, a new argument, and it's really talking about the effects of machine learning and what that does to people. And I think from that perspective, there's merit because machine learning is something that is entirely new and it is an extremely powerful weapon. And when you think about it, you have just these normal human beings, really simpletons, and many times they're even children or teenagers, and then they're up against these supercomputers, millions and millions of clusters of supercomputers running machine learning algorithms targeting each individual person figuring out the best there you have it. they're targeting each individual person that means they're learning about each individual person right and because they're learning about each individual person they can project uh, uh, Predictive programming to that single person, kind of like uh, putting themselves in the way of the, the spirit of Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai, man. In a nutshell, because you know in the scriptures it says man's goings are of the Lord. Now, man's going is going to be of technology because he said there's millions of supercomputers pitted against each individual. Let's go on. Way to keep these individuals absolutely addicted and obsessed with giving up all of their attention and time to these social media networks. And these machine learning algorithms have access to hundreds or thousands of data points about you. They know everything about you, all of your interests, and exactly what buttons to press on you in order to get you to watch another video, to read another article or post. And then on, on the back end, as ammunition, they have access to millions of articles, posts, tweets, YouTube videos, and they can use this content to try to lure you in. And it's just going to be the most clickbaity stuff possible. Preying on your fears, talking about COVID, how you can possibly die. Preying on your outrage, talking about Black Lives Matter and pulling on those emotional heartstrings. They could be leveraging your friends, family, and relationships against you, telling you that, hey, maybe your ex-boyfriend or girlfriend suddenly posted a new tweet or a new social media post, and then you and there you have it okay so they're going to be on the left hand side trying to control the minds of the masses through uh, uh technology okay and when you read that um not read it but when you watch that movie uh uh minority report Right when you watch that, uh, people were controlled in that society by what they seen through their eye lens, so to speak. Okay. Told you what pants to buy. Uh, you know, all ads were geared towards that individual that looked at that sign in that movie Minority Report. And it's one more thing. Right, because it, uh, of the Yashwamba, he said this, you know, in his video. The word beyond, right? And meta. Let's go to meta first.
it says showing or suggesting an explicit awareness of itself or oneself as a member of its category cleverly self referential okay says occurring later than or in succession to or after situated behind or beyond later or more highly organized or sp specialized form of metacelium okay transformation change or transformation okay now when you look up that word uh let's go to it Lucky. Beyond. It says on or to the further side, father. In addition, besides on or to the farther side of at a greater distance than out of the reach or sphere in a degree or amount surpassing out of the comprehension comprehension of. All right. And when you read those those things. It says something that lies on or to the further side, something that lies beyond, something that lies outside the scope of ordinary experience. All right. And it's all about control. That's that's all those definitions go on to. And when you see to the further side, what they're doing is they're trying to project what what you're going to think of next. And that's what the, the little uh, uh, Moabite guy was saying, man. OK. They, they're trying to figure out how to, from his point of view, but when you look at it spiritually, they're, they're going to tell you what to do, and they're going to want you to act upon what uh, uh, they're pushing you to do, because they're trying to govern your mind through technology, man, Okay. That movie Minority Report, they they had a, a way of seeing what a person would do. Now, on this left-handed thing that they're doing right here with this meta uh, data, they're going to project what you should be doing. Okay? Because everything is adverse to Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. Okay? They say man's goings is of the Lord. But there you have it. Man's going and it's going to be of a uh, supercomputer process. So, yeah, I just wanted to touch on that. And then, you know, let me get a quick scripture and I'm going to close it out. <clears throat> but that's just my thoughts, you know, and he's speaking as a man. But spiritually, when you look up those things, that's that's exactly what it is. You know. Got a couple of scriptures.
Saki Brothers. Spelling ain't what it used to be. <laughs> I know where it goes, anyways. This Micah two and one it says, Woe to them that devise and that create and work evil upon their beds when the morning is light they practice it because it is in the power of their hands and you know just looking at what they uh got going on all right especially that company uh facebook all right this is their whole thing all right to control the people through their uh through their cell phones or through any type of uh, uh, technology but mainly their their cellular devices and their computers okay because that algorithm is going to uh, build a digital model of you and put you in a, a server cell and they're going to be uh, like you said it's a thousand points about you that these these computers are going to find out and they're going to use it to the best of their ability and to their advantage, okay, on the left-hand side. And that's what you see them get ready to do. And then, um, let's get this one. Second Corinthians 2 and 11 it says, The least Satan should get an advantage of us, for we are not ignorant of his devices. Okay, yeah, so those big servers that's out there in the water, you know, uh, uh, off the shores of California, under the water, in various uh spots, this is what they're doing. This they're uh, saving everybody's profile, so to speak. Or the digital model of themselves in those servers, man. And it's not hard to see. We know where this is going. Just like the little little more bike dude said, man, they want they want your your mind, your body in control at all times, so to speak. So with that I wanna say all praises due to Yahweh, Bashem, Yahweh Shai, Bashem, Rakakadash, and double honors to the elder apostles of Great Millstone. Shalom, Abab the Ball, Kwam Yasharala. <laughs>